cafe. Anyway, yes, it's cafe. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth, and Mike Matthews. Hey, it's the first um, Mike's Daily Podcast. It's the first podcast that I've done during the week in a while because I had a lot of stuff. It was really rough, and I have to sing about that because that's what this song has in it and the buzz is palpable that's right it's mike's daily podcast not my best rhyming but the last podcast was called stop gap because mike's i was talking daily about how i am a podcast stop gap at my work yeah like things don't like the, the buck stops here type thing The Harry Truman thing Is what it is So But I got a lot of help today From folks That are uh, Oh let's see Oh Okay Well What we have here Is a, a uh, People came to my aid I was having all kinds of issues And then they were like Mike we'll help you out so that's great when that happens When people say Oh they take pity on you And then they, they help you out So Hey here's the thing Is Here's an interesting little Tidbit of knowledge Candidates who backed overturning Trump Loss Are rebuffed Republicans made a striking decision earlier this year to nominate candidates for top statewide posts in swing states who backed overturning President Donald Trump's loss in 2020. Most of those candidates lost in the midterm election. That from MSN.com and Nicholas Riccardi from the Associated Press. And here's the thing. And here's today's podcast picture. You, yeah, you cannot win an argument with someone who is a Trump backer. They just, now they just fall back on the whole, it's rigged, elections are rigged. Oh, what about all the Republicans that won in Florida and other states? No, they, th- that was some Democrat demigod. It's the Democrat demigods that are allowing, they just manipulate the elections, however. Then why do they let anybody Republican win? If there are people in control Nobody seems to answer that question And I talked to someone who was a staunch conservative Yesterday The late great Basil the Boxer He was more of a moderate But Sometimes we'd have these political discussions Back and forth Because he was a boxer And did you know So the, the, the podcast picture The last one Was Rocky Rocky the Kitten And the dog that I had, Basil, was a boxer But I didn't name him Rocky Even though he was a boxer I think that's the typical go-to People go, ah, he's a boxer, so I'll name him Rocky Or Muhammad Ali or something So somebody was trying to tell me Hey, the elections are rigged, they're all rigged It's all whoever some demigod wants Some tech demigod guru Changes it and overturns elections and everything, and and it's all fraud, 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 fraud. All the frauds, little frauds hopping around. So I said, here's an interesting fact. I have in my possession a letter from the county of Alameda telling me, Mike Matthews, the ballot that you mailed in. We don't believe it's from you Because we checked your Signature Against what we have for you And it doesn't match So somebody is either Taking your name And they were zeroing And they asked me twice To send in a signed signature That would back up The signature that was sent in So And it, it, it you know it was with good reason Because I didn't get a chance To fill out the ballot This wasn't the last election This was the one back in Was it June or May? 
And I was so busy with stuff at work that I, I, I'm driving to work and I look over and there's a church that has a, it's a voting booth is in there. And I go, oh my gosh, I forgot. I forgot to send it in. I forgot to even fill it out. So I had my lovely lady friend fill it out for me and send it in. So my conclusion there is that they're doing whatever they can to make sure that there is no cheating in elections. But this guy wouldn't hear any of it. The guy I was talking to, ultra conservative guy, ultra Trump backer guy, I should say. He said, no, I don't believe it. (laughs) That's the answer to everything is, no, I don't believe it. Hey, there's these two, two socks talking to each other at a bar. And one of them says to the other sock, no kidding, I'm recently single too. That was sent to me from Winky, my mom's old email buddy, my late mom's email buddy. Thank you, Winky. Let's see, there's also one. I was mugged by a thief last night on my way home, pointing a knife at me. He asked me, your money or my life? I told him I was married, so I have no money and no life. We hugged and cried together. It was a beautiful moment. Hmm, I found a strange piece of plastic on the floor that looks like it broke off of something, but I have no idea what. Better save it in the drunk drawer until I die. I finally fixed that annoying noise in my car. I just opened the door and pushed him out. Ha! I'm fat, but I identify as skinny. I'm trans slender. <laughs> You're making fun of transgender people. Eh, Don't take it that way. Roy didn't last long as a greeter at church. He, uh... (laughs) This is hard to explain, this one. It's a guy greeting people at the church, but you know how they have, you have a fake hand that you get? And he's like greeting people with the fake hand and then one of them... Walks away with the fake hand and faints. And he says, better take that back to the Halloween store. Okay, there we go. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Anyway. Thank you, Winky. Those were funny. Somewhere in Podcastro Valley. That's where we are today. Hey, look who is outside of cafe anyway. As Anyway. Hello, Michael Masters, Madam Ruth, the big old yes, those were very funny little quips. Ooh. A quip? Ah, are you equipped? Equipped to do what, Mike Massey? Ooh. Equipped to make a delicious batch of rice. Mm-mm. A little rice. I put some seasoning in it when I'm cooking it. Maybe I put a little paprika in there. Something to spice it up a little bit. Some peppers. Do you like peppers? Yes. Do you like rice? Yes. Do you like Halloween stores? No. And they're all closed now, so you don't have anything to worry about. That's all gone. Uh Uh-oh. I just got a text from someone. Oh, no, I didn't. I got a... So, yeah. Everybody was helping out today until somebody said, Oh, my wife has COVID. (sighs) But I don't. Yet. (sighs) Hey, it is time now for the segment Let's go back with Matthews We're gonna go back to a time A simpler time A previous time A time where Did you notice that uh, Microsoft has changed The the office.outlook.com Have you noticed that? They've, they've kind of They're trying to get you more To using all their Windows stuff Ah, They get you You're used to it one way And then they change it it's lovely. Okay, enough about that. Here's the thing. We're going back in time to a simpler time. This was actually in the early 2000s. Yours truly was working at a country radio station. And the following happened here. Let's see. This is the early 2000s. Do you remember that wonderful era? Ah, I gotta press that button. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the KK Santa Fe Cafe. I'm Matt Michaels on 100.7 KJY, the KK Cafe question 
650-K-H-A-Y, or you can email me at matt at khay.com. Facial hair, yay or nay? Hello, the scrunnel fiddle player. Matt, I'll tell you what. I do not like facial hair. Uh-huh. Because one time I was playing my fiddle and my beard got caught in my bowl. And I, really? Yeah, and it, you know, kind of hurt like Oh, I can see that. Some Kenny Chesney's got it quality. Aw, uh, Kenny Chesney. He married Renelle Z- Renee Zellweger at one point. There you go. You heard like an early version of the disgruntled fiddle player. Maybe one other thing. What song? Um, I think it's called Love's the Only House. By Martine McBride. Yep. Sure. Is that out to anybody? Sure. Why not? I'll finish. Yay. Okay. It's the Santa Fe Cafe. It's 100.7 KHAY. I'm Matt Michaels at the K Santa Fe Cafe. The K Cafe question. Facial hair, yes or no? 650 KHAY. Uh, such a nice night tonight. Let's go out here. How you doing, Bill? I see you're smoking a cigar again. Yeah, man. I can't seem to quit this habit here. Hmm, Matt. As you know, I don't have any facial hair. I really haven't had any facial hair in a long time. Okay. But my former friend... Al Gore has a lot of facial hair. Oh. Looks kind of stupid on him. Bill, I told you I'm going to shave it off when I try to run again for the president. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. Can't you two just get along? I'm just kidding. It's Neil McCoy's new one, the luckiest man in the world. Stop hitting each other, please. So- there you go. Al Gore and Bill Clinton. What's Al Gore been doing lately? Hmm. That's a good question. Okay. And now the segment, the Mike Matthews New Tunes Feud. This is a band called Velvet Beach. You pick which song you like better. This is called Velvet. This is the band Velvet Beach. And the song is called Home Is It True? That's Home Is It True. Hey Mike, our new single Home Is It True came about after I read an article about the effects of the pandemic on the lives of independent artists in North America. Oh, that's nice. Okay, and one more song. So did you like them better? Velvet Beach? Or do you like this song by the group called Ovens Yes there is a band called Ovens And They are A super rocking band Tony Molina was, Has played in a lot of bands A rough estimate would put it down About 14 bands But Ovens are You have to say are not is But Ovens are the band Where you can really hear Tony Developing the sound style That he would fully realize in his solo Career Let's listen to a song from them I wish I had a gun You know But there is nothing that song is called Fired from the Vogue So which one do you like better? Of uh, Velvet Beach Or Ovens You can call me 336-MM-DAILY 3 plus 3 equals 6 MM as in Mike Matthews Daily As in what this podcast has been for a couple days Call now 336-MM-DAILY Oh, and we forgot to say hi to you guys. Hello, Dave Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we was listening to the podcast day, and you played some songs day, and we liked it day. Yeah! 
Music. Deodorant. Oh, excellent. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, John Deere the Engineer, and you can tell me which song you like better. 336-MM-DAILY. And with more ways to reach me, it's A-Frame. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. And that was FF episode 2521 2521. You can catch all the past podcasts at Mike's Daily Podcast.com.